it again and just lands hook after hook after hook. Hakuo is a freaking monster this game. game. Hey guys, I'm Nick Sergeant. I go by Hako and I play League of Legends for Echo Fox. Yeah, so I grew up in Pittsburgh. It's on the East Coast in Pennsylvania. It's kind of like industrial, like slash art city. Pittsburgh's really nice. It depends what area you're in, but like in general, like the people are pretty nice and like the sports teams are fun to root for. So it's a pretty enjoyable city. My high school was in downtown, so I went there and then I started like explore more of the city and like go to a lot more of the, like the museums and stuff. I went to art school for high school. It was a lot different than like a normal high school. Like it was more focused on what your major was, like what kind of art you wanted to pursue. I went for technical theater and I mostly handled like lighting design and just general like stage setup. Like we would build the sets, we would set up the lights and all that. It was mostly for musicals, but we did like straight theater too. So it was like a lot of really long days trying to fix issues and like just building sets. So at least for me, it was like a really different experience than I was used to for normal school. I still like follow a lot of artists. I just like always look at art when I have free time pretty much. I buy like some prints, but not like too much. Mostly I prefer like environmental art, so like sceneries more than so like character pieces. Like I enjoy like background art more so than like people in the frame. I'd probably say I enjoy like painting and like watercolor more than like sculpting and stuff like that. I used to draw, but I'm probably really bad now. So don't ask me to draw. I think like gaming is like kind of the same now. It's like gaming and art I both enjoy. I just have to spend more time gaming now just because we practice so long. Well, and I get paid for it, but. Hakuho 12 and all against Xeno Sato 9 and 3, 60 Earth meeting. Hako is a sumo wrestler. I was really into sumo when I was in like high school. So he's like one of the best sumo wrestlers and I still like watch matches. So he's just really good. Right hand slap by Hakuho. Hakuho keeps up the pressure on Xeno Sato. It's just like an interesting like sport compared to other sports because it's like just pure like technique and like how, how actually like physically strong you are. Another outstanding achievement by one of the greatest sportsmen in the world, Hakuho. I played a lot of Warcraft 3 custom games and I played a lot of Dota back then. Eventually I switched to League. I don't really remember like why. I think one of my friends just recommended it. So I started playing with them. I liked it more than Dota, so I just kept playing it. I knew I was like good enough to like get like high rank around like season two or three, I think is when I started getting like just high elo back then, but when they had like the MMR system. So I'd say like my style is more of a like fighting aggress aggressive style. People know me for Thresh and Morgana, just like skill shot champions I'm really good at. Back when I played on the East Coast, it was like 120 ping. I still played those champions back then, so it was like just, you had to predict what the enemy was gonna do. So I think that's like why I'm so good at like skill shot champions right now. So my family wasn't that supportive the first offer I had. Like I had the chance to play for a challenger team. This was after high school, so I didn't take that offer and then I kept playing just like solo queue. I went to university for three years and then after that I got an offer from Renegades. I just flew out like that same week without like really asking them. I just like kind of went because I wanted to do it. But like now they're supportive since like I'm doing well with it. Plenty of fantasy points for Echo Fox team right here. 11 turrets, three dragons, a Baron, and now the push in for the win. They're gonna get it in 31 minutes and 20 seconds and change. Echo Fox get their second win against Renegades. And Renegades continue to struggle despite uh, whatever roster swaps they can come up with. Yeah, not really able to make it fit. When I first started, like Renegades was already kind of a bad team, and then it didn't really change when I joined. So we were still struggling a lot. It's uh, not looking great. No, <laughs> not, not looking great for this squad. I think it was like a good experience to like have to deal with that and have to deal with like all the emotions that come with it. All the players knew they had to get better, and eventually we just like made a switch with roster, and then the team was good for like the like last few games we had. And then when we went to relegations, I think the team was actually really strong. Down Ninja, one versus zero. Happy to just take down the Nexus. What a horrible call by Team Dragonites, but that will be the 3-0. There's no chance for a comeback. Renegades are back into the North American LCS. We, we won the relegation tournament and then we got banned because the management had some sketchy stuff. It was like, okay, since we had like teams that still were interested in us, like the players, it was just like a kind of weird experience for like, we win and then after that, they're like, by the way, you're out. <laughs> Envy uh, took a spot of Renegades. Um, their full roster is going to be Seraph, Proxen, Laud, Hakuo, and they have uh, Nyan on the bench. Alex Itch is also a sub. I think after Renegades got disbanded, I just had like offers. Like we still have contracts, so like I think Envy has just picked up most of our contracts at least, and they just like wanted to build a team around a few of us. I don't remember exactly like how it happened, but 
I wasn't really like, scared of not getting a team for next split. Our first season with Envious, like the first split was really good for us. We got playoffs and then it was like pretty good, at least for like ball lane when I played with uh, Laud, who's Benji now. I'd say we were like top three ball lane that split. Oh, the flash Q's gonna land. Afro gets his flash right back up, but look at the layered CC. He can't get away in time. A second kill coming through for Envy, and Ninja wow. makes his way in for the root into the stun, and everybody's down here, and Counter Logic Gaming lose their duo. And we got the playoffs, and I forget who we lost to, but I'm pretty sure we lost like first or second round. But it was like a good learning experience for us, just like new team getting into it again. And then our second split, I think there were like team changes. I remember like Apex and Envy switch AD, so I started playing with Apollo, and then Laud went to Apex. And then we went to relegations, we won again. Yes, they popped Phoenix, they popped multiple members of GCU, and Team Envy, welcome back to the North American LCS. A long, grueling road for Envy there, goes the distance in the final match of the promotion tournament earning their spot back into the LCS. I faced a lot of adversity like with orgs and just general like team play the past few years I played. Like going through relegations, having my orgs not get accepted to franchise, having to disband the orgs, all that. I think it just like made me more, I guess, accepting of like how stuff happens in like the pro scene. If something bad happens, I'm not gonna get super bummed out about it. I'll just keep playing, keep trying my best. I think it's really good just cause even if like we're doing poorly as a team, I know that we can always pull together. True to his words, will end them today. TSM routed the game over. And that is the end of this series and the end of TSM's perfect record of attending the playoff finals. Clutch Gaming will be the first organization to deny them their pass to the semis and will earn their spot in Miami. I think the highest point for my career was probably just our TSM series last year on Clutch with Apollo. Got really hyped up after like the third game. We lost the first one and then instantly we just like changed our entire like team play idea. After that we were like, all right, let's just play for lane, just try and snowball. I started picking just Thresh, just a really aggressive AD every game. That series for us, like Apollo and I were just really confident we could win the 2v2. So we just used that to our advantage. And we ended up seeing the Thresh pick come out from you, hitting all of these God hooks and flays. Apollo, any praise for your support? Yeah, he's pretty decent. <laughs> <laughs> How, what, what do you want him to tell you? Give you a pat on the back, tell, have him tell you good job? Nah, I mean, he's just a Kaylin one trick, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Paul and I have been playing for two years, I'd say at this point. We've been a duo for a long time. I think just having that like experience together is really good for a duo. You don't have to talk about how to fight, how to play lane. You just play and then you can like react to each other a lot faster. When we went to Miami, we lost to Echo Fox, which was kind of upsetting because it was like, we kind of just like got stomped and went back home. The first half of the year was like good experience and then second half like some people just checked out and didn't want to really play anymore. It was trying to like make a team work with like maybe half the team wanting to play. After the second clutch split like they wanted to change rosters and then Apollo and I were looking for a team together and we ended up coming to Xbox with Colin which was really nice since we already knew how each other played. So I think it was like an easier switch than before. Go for the play, but they're gonna find a hook anyway. This guy, Zardok, he's gonna flash. He might just stay alive and chop up by gate, but is it gonna be enough? He's still burning down and he will be forced to be revived, but that's the ult down. So Flay brings in Dokla. He's tanky though. He buys so much time. Finally, a kill. Hakko grabs it with redemption and Zardok falls as well. A two for zero. Echo Fox in the lead. And Hakko landing two huge hooks. This is gonna be an easy Baron. I think the roster we have is pretty good. We're all pretty weather veterans. We played for a few years. In general, I think this team is just like a lot of experience and then we can use that to adapt to the meta really fast. I think like going for forward in the split, we'll have a lot more wins, maybe get two of those instead of one ones every week. Look at this, there's only so much damage left in the lineup. A double kill for Solo's Malphite, the first of the year, and a 29 minute win. Echo Fox, four and four. I think this seems a lot more like fun. Everybody likes to hang out with each other. We have a lot of fun outside the game. Whereas like my past two teams, it was kind of like, whatever. But I think right now it's like a good atmosphere. Absolutely dominating performance here today from Echo Fox. Uh, they are looking better and better over time. And this is a pretty solid look for the squad. I'm most excited about just like playing with the team and hopefully getting playoffs and possibly worlds if we just keep it going. I think if we continue to improve, we'll make it and maybe beat TSM in playoffs again. We'll see.